What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this team right here. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys' time to support the channel and help it grow. On this team right here, in the front spot, we have this Scrafty. And Scrafty is going to be a great Pokemon for this team because he is such a strong lead with that fake out right there. He also has close combat for stab and big damage and throat chop for any Pokemon using sound base moves. Then we have the T-Tar and Extra Drill, which go hand in hand with each other considering we're rocking the Sand Stream and the Sand Rush. So it's going to be big. We do big damage and the T-Tar is actually holding a weakness policy here. So you guys already know the deal. If we can trigger that, maybe go into a Protect forces a Dynamax move to soak it up, trigger our weakness policy, we could be rolling out with that plus two attack and dominate throughout the match. We also have this Rotom here, which we actually showed off in the last video. If you haven't checked that one out, get over there now, check out the video. It's such a good video. This Rotom is going in with a Life Orb. It is Rotom Mo with Thunderbolt, Leaf Storm for Stab, will it was for that Burn and Protect. And then in the bottom two spots are going to be our lead Pokemon with the Braviary and the Jelly Scent. Jelly Scent is going to be used to set up a Trick Room if we want, or just to counter a Trick Room. We can imprison the Trick Room and make sure nobody can use it on the field and we can just take the speed advantage away. And then we have the Braviary, who is going to be our Tailwind Pokemon to give us that speed boost. And he's also Rocket's Facade. Facade will actually be double damage if we are under a status condition, and it is Stab. So we could potentially do big damage if we can uh, end up pulling that off. But guys, you want to use this team... For yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it. And also, let me know for question of the day. What do you guys think of Pokemon Home? Because I know it just released. It literally just released. I haven't really got a chance to even look at it. I haven't even downloaded it. But I heard, like, mix, mix emotions going on with it. Like, some people are like, oh, it's, a, it's not good at all. It stinks, blah, blah, blah. You got to pay for it. And then some people are like, no, nah, it's actually pretty cool. I kind of like sending Pokemon here to there, there to there. Like, you guys know the deal. So, I want you guys feedback on here to let me know if I should get it or not. But guys, without further ado, let's go on, get on with these ranked double battles and try to get some win on the ladder. I am currently sitting top 10,000 on the ranking system, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. I was 6,000 yesterday. I did it on my stream. If you guys have not checked out my stream yet, what are you guys doing? Link is in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. Seriously, we've been pushing the ladder. We went 13 and 2 in yesterday's stream. Like, come on. That was the best I ever did. We, we were using a mud sale team, and we absolutely dominated and pushed 6,000 and finally got a winning record back. But hopping into battle number one, this guy has a Roserade team, which is pretty cool. Also with that T-Tar extra, probably Sandstorm. Uh, I got to roll out with my Braviary as the lead. Braviary is just going to be a good lead because if he goes Whimsicott, we can match the Tailwind and go from there. He might go uh, Whimsicott, Grimstar. Oh, I can see that. Maybe the Roserade in here. I wish I had Safeguard. I'm going to go Scrafty in the front spot. And then, do I go with the Mo? I mean, I could go Mo extra drill and kind of leave the T-Tar out of here. I'm trying to think, because if he can set up the Sandstorm for ourselves, that could be pretty big. That could be pretty big. Hmm. Mo Excadrill? I kind of want the Mo. The Mo's going to be pretty big, considering it has that Thunder. It has the Grass. Eh, I actually don't know about the Mo. Now that I'm looking at him, like, you know, kind of only does work against the T-Tar. And my Excadrill and T-Tar can do work against his T-Tar. So we're going to withdraw the Mo and go Excadrill, T-Tar. The little Sandstream team and get rolling from there. No need to bring in the Jelly Scent inside Trick Room team. We're kind of chilling with that. But the Rose Raid I can see coming out. I've been seeing them more and more on the ladder. They've been using like a Sleep Powder. I know they have Toxic, Potential Sludge Bomb. So like you can roll either way. You can make it as a nice little special attacker. Or just a Pokemon to put status conditions on. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Who's he going to lead? I am confused. I am confused to who he's going to lead. I can see Whimscott. Oh, he goes T-Tar Grimstar. Okay. I was expecting the Grimstar or the Whimscott. So I just didn't know who he was going to go in the second spot. We can fake out. We could fake out the Grimstar and set up our own Tailwind. I can see him totally Dynamaxing. Scrafty does have the Intimidate, which is huge. Sandstream's gonna pop. Um, I could see him Dynamaxing the... The T-Tar? I could see him Dynamaxing the T-Tar. I am gonna set up the Tailwind. Where do I swap? No, I kinda wanna set up the Tailwind and go for a Fake Out over on this Grimstarl. Just to prevent, like, a screen coming up or anything. Or, like, a Taunt. Let's see, he is Dynamaxing. He's gonna take out my Braviary turn one. He's gonna take him out turn one, but he does have the Sandstream set up for us. Which is pretty nice, which is actually pretty nice. So he's going to take out my Braviary. We're going to be able to get up the Tailwind. Uh, Scrafty's going to counteract that uh, Grimstar. Grimstar is not going to get a turn. And that's just how it's going to go down. We're going to go down one Pokemon right off the rip out. <laughs> We're going to just go down like that. Maybe I should have just swapped into my, uh, my what's called. Oh, yo, what you mean you get to fake out all first? That's fine. That's not a big deal. But still, Tailwind's going to get off here. But maybe I should have swapped the Braviary into the our own T-Tar. I think it's a rock ball. It's going to be big damage. Are you going on my Scrafty? I wish. <laughs> Bye, Braviary. Braviary gone here. 
Um, so we do have the Tailwind set up. That's going to be big. I could go extra drill, extra drill, 100% outspeed. And we could start going in from there. Because so I could totally go into a close combat and then swap out next turn. I could totally go here. I could totally go here, go for a max quake, do some work, and double into that T-Tar. Because I think a nice close combat and a Dynamax max quake from my extra drill will take out that T-Tar. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's do it. We can boost our special defense along with it. We can go right in here. He's probably going to go with a, what's it called, to be honest. He's probably going to go with the Reflect, which would be smart. But we will outspeed, hands down. We got the Tailwind going. We have the Sand Rush going for Extra Drill. So Extra Drill is going to be the fastest on the field. And then probably the Prankster, uh, Grimstar. Well, Prankster, Grimstar will probably outspeed everything. But my both my Pokemon should be faster when they're attacking. Like, easily. Easily. So it's okay that we lost a Braviary. He kind of already did his job. He got his, he got his Tailwind up, which is, which is chilling. Maybe I should have swapped. So like, like I even said in the beginning, I, like, I knew what was happening. But he does set up the Reflect, so he might not be able to kill now. Let's see how this actually uh, turns out. Let's see how this turns out. Here comes the Quake action. Yeah, you yeah, get it, Drill. We're going to boost our special defense, but this thing is uh, physical attacking. I wish I could get a burn on him. We get half his damage. Burn's so good. Burn is so underrated. Like, just burn in general. Like A lot of people don't know that it actually halves damage. Oh! Well, physical damage. Oh, this is scary. Weakness policy, T-Tar trigger. He's gonna probably take out my, uh, actually, how much damage are we doing here? Oh, man. Oh, that was a nice hit. That was a wonderful hit. I wish we did have Mach Punch, but hopefully he doesn't kill whatever Pokemon he goes after. He's gonna go for the Max Knuckle, take out my Scrafty. Okay, um, oh, no, he's going after my Drill. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. I am gonna swap out the Scrafty here. I am totally gonna swap out the Scrafty here. Because our defense is terrible now since we use that close combat. And we're going to take out the T-Tar. Unless he goes for a uh, max guard. I mean, he could go for a max guard. I might go for a max guard on my own self. To be honest with you. Or do I just force the attack? I might just force the attack, to be honest with you. I could slide over to the Grimstar and predict the max guard. I am going to predict the max guard. I am going to predict the max guard from the T-Tar. Because that could be huge. And we're going to swap in our own T-Tar. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens here. Show me that he's max guard. Because I was going to max guard, but show me that he is max guard. Let's see. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Nice read for me. That could end up winning us the game, to be honest. That was a big play. Big reads by Jeans. We take out the Grimstar. We're going to outspeed the T-Tar all day. T-Tar is going to be gone next turn. And we have our weakness policy T-Tar chilling here. And a defensive boost. We're defense boost right here. Awesome play. Let's get it, guys. That was big. That was big. And we still have our Scrafty in the back end. He can pop out, go for a fake out. Nice little read. Nice little read by Jeans here. Yes, sir. Arcanine's going to go in here. Uh, I could go protect EQ and get and take the double kill here. To be honest, we're not double killing now. No, we wouldn't take out the Arcanine, but we could still do some work. We're still going to be the fastest. I think I'm going to go protect EQ. Let's do some damage here. That's fine by me. I oh, know we, we still have Dynamax. We're going to go Max Quake here. Do we still have Tailwind? This is my T-Tar. Yeah, my T-Tar's going to totally outspeed. We're going to go Max Quake. Boost that. Uh, we could go for a Rock Slide. Or I could just go for a Brick Break. And just make sure that T-Tar goes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure the T-Tar gets out of here. To be honest. Because I don't know if a minus one Rock Slide is going to take it out. Let's see what happens here. Max Quake's going to pop. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, take him out. I don't think he's going to take him out. But still do some nice damage. Oh, he does take. Let's go, Excadrill. Big boy Excadrill coming in clutch. That's why a critical hit, baby. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> I like getting some luck for a change. I'm usually the unlucky guy. Like, usually when I'm streaming, like, people are critting on me and all that good stuff. But, nah, we're getting the luck today. But we're chilling. We're going to break the screen, which is huge. No more reflect. Brick break comes in clutch. And it goes out to a 2v1 situation. Well, 2v3. No, not 2v3. What am I saying? What am I saying? A 3v1. A 3v1 because we have a Scrappy in the back. And it's Rose Raid. Oh, we got this one in the bag, baby. In the bag. Match one. Easy. Match one easy. Like I said, we're about 9,000 on the ranking board. We're top 10,000. I'm trying to push 1,000 on my Twitch channel. I really am. Well, not on my Twitch channel, but that's where we stream it at when we're trying to push. I'm going to go into a stab iron head over on you. And a nice little uh, stab crunch. A little bit of stab crunch action. And just go from there. Because in our last 15 matches when we were streaming, we went 13-2 with the Mudsail team. It was unbelievable. We absolutely dominated. I'm surprised he did sleep powder my T-Tar. Because my extra is going to be the fastest one on the field. That's a little odd. That's a, that is a little odd. It's like, if she wanted to, she could probably outspeed my T-Tar without the Tailwind. Like she just did. 
and just sleep my extra drill and then take out my T-Tar. But, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I guess she uh, thought that maybe uh, we were doing more damage than that. But we're chilling. That's going to be the game. Iron Head's going to pop in here. Finish this one off. GG. Let's go. Match one in the bag. Let's get it. Let's get it. We play that one so well. That read was the big difference maker. We read that he was going into Max Guard, took out the Grimstar, and started running the match from there. This guy can go two ways with his team. I can see him going Weavile into Colossal doing the Surf Weakness Policy Steam Engine little method. Or we can go Belly Drum Snorlax with this one. He has a lot of options. I really don't know who I should lead. Because I think he's going to go Weavile Colossal. So I might just go Sandstream right off the bat. I seriously think I'm going to go here. Here. And bring the Scrafty in the back. I really do want the Scrafty in the beginning to be honest. Ugh. I'm going to go here. Do I bring the, Do I bring him? He bolt, uh, this doesn't really do too, too much. I think I'm rolling out with same squad, just random order, kind of. Uh, this is tough. This is honestly tough. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll same squad, just totally different order. Because I feel like the T-Tar and the Extra Drill can get off to a strong start. It's definitely a strong start. Especially because if he goes into that Weavile Colossal, we can outspeed and kind of Dynamax and do some work on it. And then we can go from there. And then I'm not sure if the Weavile can be faked out. Because I'm pretty sure a Sneasel cannot be faked out. That's why people roll Sneasel usually with this team. But I think a Weavile can. I'm just not 100% sure. He does go into the Colossal Weavile. Okay. Shiny Colossal. Looks dope. A little bit of blue action. But right now, my rank went up a good 3,000. Like 2,000 something. We're 6,709. On the dot. On the dot. But we're, we're looking good. I'm getting a lot better at this. Seriously. Like, it's crazy. Like, to see how far I actually like, came playing. Like, I remember, like, playing, like, not even be able to start off, like, a two, uh, two win streak. Now we're going on six, sevens, eights win streaks. It's awesome. It's such a good feeling. Um, I am going to protect here. Because I honestly feel like he's going to surf Dynamax going to a Max Quake on my T-Tar. So I think I can trigger a weakness policy and then Dynamax and go for a Max Quake over on his own Colossal. And see how we roll from there because this will be sad. Maybe we should have boosted our defense instead of our special defense. But I mean, he does have a few special attackers in the back end. So either way, it's good. I think I should have just went for a Steel Spike instead of the Max Quake. But considering the Colossal is going to be a physical attacker. But I think he's going to go into the Max Quake into my guitar. That's why I'm protecting. I'm going to try to trigger that weakness policy and get rolling from there. You know the Surf's coming. Surf's going to be super effective all around. That's going to be a little bit of tough action. Here goes the Dynamax Surf. We're going to be able to hope to punk on the uh, the Colossal here. I don't see the Weavile doing too, too much damage to us. It's probably a uh, Focus Ash. Maybe we should just let the Scrafty and kind of went from there. We probably should have just went Scrafty into Excadrum. That probably could have just worked. But let's see. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the Protect. Show me the Max Quake. Show me the Max Quake. Surf is not going to hit my... Uh, a boy right here. Oh, we go first. We do go first. Are we going to double on this thing? That'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. When did I think we go first? I just expected the Weavile to be so fast. But let's get it. Let's go. Dump it on the Colossal. Now we, we can just counter that team like that. Oh, my Lord. Well, I, for some reason, I just thought the Weavile was going to outspeed because it's always the fastest on the field. But nah, son. Sand Rush, Extra Drill, bro, we killing it. Here goes the Surf. Eat that up, no problem. No problem. I do not mind if a Surf comes in here now. We might be able to just potentially just like sweep this one out. <laughs> we might just be able to sweep this one out. Let's see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We still have our T-Tar. He doesn't have a Dynamax. He has a Weezing. Steel Spike's going to pop out into that. Probably dump on that. Neutralizing Gas. No more Sandstream. No, Sandstream's still here. It's just abilities are not working. Oh. So the Weavile might be the fastest now on the field. Uh, I could just drop a Rock Side. We should drop a Rock Side and go Steel Spike into the Weezing. Get a little bit of Steel Spike. The Weezing, or not the Weezing, the Weavile should be fastest now. Yeah, here comes the Brick Break. We do not have a screen up, but that does do some work. Probably no, uh... Oh, we're Weakness Policy Trigger. That's probably going to dump on these Pokemon, to be honest. Let's see. It's probably going to take out the Weavile, and we should be able to take out the... Potentially take out the Weezing here. He doesn't have no berry. Bang. Gone. This Rock Slide could potentially take out the Weebile. Plus two. Plus two. That Brick Break did, did, did do some work. But there was no screens. It really didn't like get its full value out. Well, let's see how much this Rock Slide is going to do. Plus two. Plus two. And we're both defense one. And our Sand Rush is back here. Rock Slide is going to connect. Take him out. Yeah, yeah. See you later. we we'll see you later. Weakness policy coming in clutch. Potential sweep here. Potential sweep because my extra will go first in the sand rush the sand stream right here. We are dominating. Jeez guys Jeez 
It's a Musharna. It's a Musharna. And I see his outspeed and well, like both my Pokemon outspeed him. Earthquake was revealed. That that's that's fine. I really don't care that you know we have Earthquake. We do have the the stab. Or no, the stab crunch, which is plus two. And then we can just go into the stab max quake on the actually no, that thing's not levitated, it just showed its ability. I was gonna say, is this thing levitated? Get out of my face. <laughs> Battle was canceled. Sweet! Sandstream sweet, baby. Let's get it, dude. This combo is just too strong. It's so good once you get get it set up in the rank ladder. Let's go, guys. Look at my rank. Top 5,000 right now. Top 5,000. We are 79 and 75. I finally got my winning record back from using, like, off-meta teams, like, on YouTube and everything. Because sometimes I use teams that I don't even use. Like, I'll play matches and I'll go, like, 1-5 and five with them. I'll be like, nah, I'm not making a YouTube video on that. We're done with that team. Get out of here. And then we'll switch to the next team. But now we finally have a winning record. And we're hopping into the third battle. Which is this team right here? Um, who do I go from here? I can see him rolling Trick Room. I can see him going to sleep. I think Scrappy is going to be a good lead. He has the Lumberry and the Fake Out we can get rolling with. Um, all honesty, I think T-Tar could be a great Pokemon to go in here. I think it, we can go Scrafty T-Tar right off the rip. We do not need a speed advantage. Like, we do not need a speed advantage because if he goes Butterfree, say he goes Butterfree Dustcops, who I think he's going to go with. I think he's going to go Butterfree Dustcops here, or he might just go early on Drought, which would be fine by me because I'll have my T-Tar in that spot. Like, I want to get that Jelly Scent in there, but at the same time, I do not. I mean, I'm going to bring the Jelly Scent in the back for sure. And then final spot, probably extra drill. I think extra drill works out here. But like I was saying, if he goes Dust Cops, Butterfree, we can fake out the Butterfree easily. If Butterfree gets the fake out. And then we can just rock slide. And I'll take out that would just cover the Butterfree here. And he'll be gone. And then the trick room will probably go. Potential flinch. And then we can go into where Jelly Scent kind of roll from there. Then I think extra drill kind of comes in here. I think extra drill does come in here. He can kind of do some work. Kind of finish off this match. Hopefully we get this win. Like this is like a like a staple meta team right now. It's it's this team right here. Like like this is like a variation, but still the butterfree, the trick room with the Charizard, the right here, obviously. So we just gotta like figure out a way to kind of counter up this trick room. But I do have the fake out. I have the Lumberry, so if the butterfree wants to put me to sleep, he's gonna go dust cops butterfree. Wonderful, wonderful, just what I wanted, just what I wanted. We're gonna fake out on the butterfree and we're gonna drop a rock slide. We're going to drop a rock slide. I'm kind of hoping that we uh. I am kind of hoping that we flinch the dust cops. Because then it kind of gets scary. It kind of gets scary that the. If he does get the trick him off and the right period comes in here, that could be rather tough. So fake out on you. A little bit of rock slide on you guys. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Go, Scraps. Come on, Scraps. Hopefully the Butterfree stays in. Going for the sleep powder on my T Tar. But, but we'll just outspeed with the fake out. Make it flinch. Show it to me. Show me that my call in the beginning was correct. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Guys, I haven't even said it yet. If you guys are hanging out with me in the third battle, third battle squad, hashtag third battle squad in the comment section down below. I totally forgot I got caught up in the ranking system. <laughs> Let's go. Hashtag third battle squad in the comment section down below. I'd love to know who is hanging out with me. So what's going to happen? Oh, who's he? D-Max and G-Max Butterfree. That is scary. He's going to go for a G-Max Befuddle. Go for a G-Max Befuddle. That is rather scary. Um, wow, dude, great play by him, to be honest with you. But I hope he does roll a Trick Room. I don't think he's going to roll a Trick Room. I think he's going to roll a Will-O-Wisp, potentially, on my T-Tar. That could be scary. The Fake Out does not. My plan is foiled. Fake Out. <laughs> Get a nice little Fake Out off there. G-Max Befuddle coming in hot. Going to do some damage. Does he get the status conditions? That's the scary part. I don't want him to get the status. Bruh. He does get him. Poison and what's going on my... Oh, here comes our Lumberry. Our Lumberry! Oh, of course we get paralyzed. Of course. Go ahead, roll Trick Room, buddy. Rockside pops. Nice damage. Butterfree gone! Butterfree gone just like that! Ew wee! Butterfree gone! Wasted his D-Max just like that. We can eventually roll an Excadrill and kind of go from there. Trick Room does pop. My T-Tar is going to be able to do a little bit of work here. I might Dynamax my T-Tar because we are paralyzed. Like, I'm not even going to lie here. I think a Dynamax T-Tar... Even if we are now, we are parallel. That's tough. That's a tough situation. Uh, do I swap? I'm going to might swap in my boy, my Jelly Scent. He's going to go Torkoal. He's going to send the Drought. Um, That's rather scary. That is rather scary. I think I'm going to keep the T-Tar in. Uh, and I'm going to swap the Scrappy out. No, I'm going to swap the T-Tar out. Do I do a double swap? 
No, I'm gonna keep my T Torrent. I'm gonna swap my Scrafty out. Swap the Scrafty and go into the Jelly. The Jelly Jelly. And I could go for a Rock Slide. I think I'm just gonna protect this turn. He doesn't have a Dynamax. Yeah, he does not have a Dynamax. I'm gonna just protect this turn. I'm just going to protect. Get my Jelly sent out there. Potentially roll a Trick Room. Trying to just counter up on that. Let's see what happens. Seatar gets the Protect action. My Jelly Sent should be chilling. The eat skis. Heat Wave. Mwah. Get a little bit of block. Hopefully he's choice into that. That would be kind of good. Into the Drought. That's still going to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's that's rather scary. Let's cops. Let's get the Nightshade off. Blech. Here goes our berry. Yes, sir. Get a little berry. A water spout is going to pop. I kind of want to Dynamax a T-Tar. Not even going to lie. Like, I know he's paralyzed, but I kind of do want to Dynamax a T-Tar. And go for a water spout here. I need. I kind of want this drought out the way. So we're going to send a rock fall over on the Torkoal and kind of just roll out from there. Like, I know he's paralyzed, but I'm banking on him not being, like, like, not, like, him being able to move. Not just being, like, all staticky. You guys don't want to you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm hoping that's the call. We got to get this drought out the way. That it, This is going to be a huge difference maker here, especially if we can get the Sandstorm set up and just outweigh this Trick Room, because we can potentially go into a Fake Out and then have our extra Jolt in the back end. Who goes first? Heat Wave does pop. Jelly sent avoids it. That's huge. Good job, Jelly. Avoid Jelly. Jelly, Jelly. Go ahead, T-Tar. Show him what's up, T-Tar. Nice shade's going to pop over on my Jelly, Jelly. Jelly's going to drop a little bit of health. T-Tar, I need you here. Yes, sir. T-Tar's going to take away the drought. That's huge. That is some huge news. Gonna, going to do some work on this Torkoal, actually. Take him out. Let's go. Torkoal gone. This is looking great for us. This is looking awesome for us. I cannot wait to update my rank because you guys just saw we are 4,900. About 5,000. About 5,000 right now. So I think we're going to push to about 3,000. Maybe a little bit before that, depending on how much we're going to go up. The Water Spout does pop. We are going to start taking away the Speed Advantage. Once this Trick Room ends, I might just send a Trick Room now. Just so he doesn't have a Speed, depending on who he actually goes into. Depending on who he goes into, if he has Rhyperior, I think I'm going to just send it right now. And then go into like a Quake or something along those lines. I mean, does my T-Tart... No, we're just going to roll out the Trick Room because these Pokemon are so slow. Let's just roll Trick Room here. Trick Room to kind of counteract this. How many turns is left in the Trick Room? We have two, so this will be good. Then we can roll into the... we go Knuckle or Darkness. I mean, I'm not worried about the what's gone. I am not worried about the Dust Cops at all. The Dust Cops is just there. He's just there. Bulldog's gonna pop. He's gonna trigger his own weakness policy. Hopefully my Jelly Scent does go first. But I think if my Jelly Scent does go... Oh no, he's dropping all of our speeds. That's a little rough. This could be dangerous. Let's see what happens here. I mean, he's dropping all of our speeds. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal considering that's just kind of evens out the playing field. And our weakness policy gets triggered. So whoever goes first, the T-Tar or me, or the Rhyperior... That's going to depend on everything. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Okay, so we do get the Trick Room off, which is huge. Which is honestly huge. Because we're going to be able to get this Trick Room off. Both my Pokemon should go first. And we still have our Scrafty. We still do have our Scrafty here. And I'm going to come after the... How do I roll here? I'm going to Strength Sap on the, the right here. I'm going to try to take him out. Do we think he's going with a Protect? I mean, if he goes with Protect, I think I might just roll Trick Room. To be honest. To be honest, if he goes Protect, then the Dust Cops is going to Trick Room. And then we can Trick Room to counteract his Trick Room. But if my extra goes first, he will be able to take this thing out. Oh, this is actually tough. I mean, Iron Head's gonna come through. Let's go. Let's go for this. Protect. Okay, look at this. Look at this call, baby. Look at this read. Yo, get out of my face. Look at this, Iron Head. Yo, watch this. Yo, this is a, such a good read. We're on today. We're on today. Jelly Scent uses Trick Room. Dust Cops is going to counteract that Trick Room. No more Protect for him. Hey, look at this. Yes! Yes, dude! Oh, my lord! I am a beast! I am a beast! The reads are on! No more Trick Room. That was awesome. That was such a good call. Iron Head's going to be able to do some work here. Uh, do we pop off? Yeah, we're going to... Mm, I mean, Water Spout could be good. I'd rather just Shrun Sap and get the HP back, and then Iron Head into the right period. Oh my lord, I am so good right now. <laughs> Iron Head, take him out. It's not even going to take him out. Potential flinch, though. Potential flinch. Shrun Sap comes in here. Do some work. Take down his attack. Oh, dude, what a call. All oh, honesty. We're going to get all of our HP back, though. Ooh-wee. This cop's going to go for the Nightshade. 
That was awesome. That was awesome. High horsepower coming into my extra drill. Extra drill stays on one because we are sash. That is huge. I think he's going to go into a protect here. I'm going to go water spout. I'm going to go water spout. And if he does go into a protect, I'm going to take out the clops here. Uh, let's go water spout here. I can totally see a protect. Let's go iron head. I'm going to just double into the clops. Get him out the way. I can totally see a protect from the right here. Yeah. Beautiful. Protect from the right here. Dude, our reads are on today. We deserve this win. We deserve this win. Go ahead, water spout. Do the dirt. Do the work. Do it. Take him out. Take out the clops here. Take out the clops. We, we won't have to worry about him. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, my lord. I am a god today. Come on. Come on. You're going to be 3 0 with this team again. Last recording, I went 3 0. This recording's looking like we're going 3 0. Jeez, man. No trick room. We're going to outspeed both of them. I'm just going to roll into an iron head, potentially get a flinch. I'm just reading all over this, dude. Plays on plays on plays. Bang. Game over. Water Spout's going to go before this thing, and we're going to take this out. GG. Oh, my lord. Reading the max guards. Reading, reading the trick room. That trick room play was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Oh, my lord. If you guys did see that, if you guys are all the way at the end of this video, give me a little bit of a nice trick room or something in the chat to let me know you guys are here. I'm going to update my rank for you guys, show it off, because I'm guessing you guys want to see it. We were 49.25, and now, I think it was 49.25, but now let's see what we are after that win. I'm pushing close to 3,000. My highest is like 3,200. Boom, 3,949. Beautiful, beautiful. Look how high we are in the rankings. I think like one more win, we will be able to push my highest. And we're still only 2-1 because we only did singles like once. <laughs> but that's pretty funny. Let's go show off this team right here before we do end off the video in my rental teams. They're communicating. It's actually taking a lot longer than it usually does. There it is. Manage your team's renting. Awesome. Uh, this team right here. So here's a, one last look at this team. If you guys would like to use it for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. We absolutely dom dominated today. I loved everything about it, especially the T-Tar X Gel. They're just so good. The Scrafty is awesome. We get to show off that Jelly Scent. Makes some awesome reads. Same thing with the Braviary. They didn't really get to show off the Rotom, but like I said in the beginning of this video, we used it in the last video. So go check that one out and come hang out over there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.